In this problem, we have a fun little crossover between mechanics and electrostatics where we have these two charges, one of them with a mass of, uh, or a mass of A and a charge of Q, and another one with a mass of B and a charge of Q, or charge of B. And uh, what we have is also, uh, we know that the distance between them is equal to A right here. Actually, it's, uh, it's a little A. But uh, an R goal is to find out the moment that they are uh, let loose. So normally we have both of these that are actually, uh, these are typically like pinned down and nailed down into space where they're not allowed to move. Now they're, they're uh, we're going to nail them down, but the moment that we let them both loose, that they're able to go and um, repel each other because they're both like charges. So we know they're going to be going in equal and opposite directions. The moment that we let them go, we want to know what the, uh, the velocity is for them. And so... Uh, what we can kind of think about is uh, there was what we've been doing in the most recent section of the problems is, is that um, that whenever you force these two charges into this position and then nail them down, you're putting in some amount of work, some amount of energy in order to get that done. And that energy and that work we learned was expressed as 1 over uh, 4 pi epsilon naught times the uh, product of the two charges that you're bringing together and then the distance between the two, and that's the work. So if that's the energy that goes into them, so the moment that we release these two and let them uh, get released, we know that that same energy that we put in is, is what's going to be the same energy that's going to get transferred into kinetic energy and let them get released. And so the way that we can express that uh, classically is uh, U, which is the potential energy, and then also and then T is, which is the kinetic energy. And we use a lot of different ones, but we'll just use uh, those uh, letters for now because we're in electrostatics and a lot of other letters are taken up already. But we can express that, uh, the, the potential energy turned into kinetic energy. So I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite the potential energy that we put in to the system, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught uh, times the ratio of the two charges here or A, is equal to the kinetic energy of the two ones. So we have a kinetic energy of this one plus the kinetic energy of this one. And so I'll write that here. Of course, uh, if you re recall from mechanics, if you're also concurrently studying mechanics, it is equal to uh, 1 half mv squared. And so we also have one for the B charge here, Vb. All right, and then before we even go any further, one thing that we can do is just do some cleaning up. We can factor out a one-half from both sides here. And then now, uh, it's relatively quick, we can go ahead and start solving for uh, our values here. And before we go to the next part, there's one thing that we also need to consider is that the, there's a conservation of momentum, right? So uh, at the very beginning, that there's no momentum. So the moment that they, uh, they, they get released, there's got to be... Also, no total momentum between uh, the whole system. And the way that we can describe that is we can just use P right now, which is uh, momentum, is equal to the, the sum of the, the, two, um, the two momentums from each of the particles, right? And so we know that each one of these is going to be uh, contributing to a zero-sum system for zero momentum. And so I'm just going to go ahead and name this direction right here as the positive directions, which means this is a negative direction. So this means that this uh, this this uh, particle, this charge is going to have a positive momentum as shown here, and then this one is going to have a negative momentum shown here because uh, we want those to sum to equal to zero. So MA, VA, and this of course goes to zero because the sum of the Momentum has to go as a zero because the initial part of the system had they were nailed down and not moving, so there's no momentum to the system. And so, whenever we uh, solve for the velocities for each one of these, we can easily do that. So, v the velocity of v is equal to this ratio, and the velocity of a is equal to this ratio. Oops, should be M, B, V, B. Sorry about that. And these are all the known quantities. So basically we want to solve for V, A in terms of the quantities that we were, uh, that we were given here, right here. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, make the substitution, uh, solving for V, A in this equation using uh, V, B right here. 
I'll go ahead and make that explicit and write it out. So I went over 2 pi epsilon naught, thanks to the factor, the ratio of the two charges. MAVA squared plus MB. And now we made the substitution for VB because we want everything in terms of VA. squared all right and then we can just take one step right now and just factor out of va squared since that is what we're solving for oops actually that uh it's not a factor because there's a mb squared in the denominator so what's left is this great now we can go ahead and solve for this in this equation right here Let's see, so we have a ratio, or the product of the two charges here, divided by 2 pi epsilon naught A. And then finally down here, we also have this sum right here. And I guess we could simplify even further, but mm, I don't really see the massive value to do that right now. All right, so that's our, uh, that's our velocity for A. Next thing we're going to do is just do the exact same thing for uh, VB. Keep it organized and let's scroll up a little bit. All right, so now we made this up and we'll go ahead and start over and make the substitution for VA to get everything in terms of the B uh, charge all the velocities in terms of the B charge. So we have, um, let's see here, MA. And then what we're doing is uh, substituting this one in here. All right, so we'll factor out a VB squared, cancel out one of the MAs, leaving one of the MAs in the denominator. We'll just go ahead and put it over here. Right, let's do this. V, B is equal to the product of the two charges. Two pi epsilon naught, whoops. Epsilon naught A times our sum that we have here. All right, extend this out a little bit. All right, and there is our velocity for B, VB. So like, again, a fun little crossover between these uh, electrostatics and uh, class 